सो हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज मेटल्स एंड नॉन मेटल्स ओके सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज ऑफ मेटल्स जस्ट ओपन पेज नंबर सेवेंटी वन सो दिस इज रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज यू कैन सी इन योर बुक सो वॉट डू यू अंडरस्टैंड बाई रिएक्टिविटी सीरीज नाउ यू नो देर आर सो मेनी मेटल्स एंड ऑल द मेटल्स दे आर नॉट इक्व सेम दे डोंट हैव सेम रिएक्टिविटी सम मेटल्स आर मोर रिएक्टिव एंड सम मेटल्स आर लेस रिएक्टिव ओके नाउ सो वॉट हैपन्स what is a reactivity series here the uh, metals they are arranged in the decreasing order of their reactivity means the metal which is most reactive is placed on top and the metal which is least reactive is placed at the bottom so what is a reactivity series the arrangement of metals in a vertical column in order of decreasing reactivity is called as reactivity series of a metal see here i can you see just one minute so here this is the reactivity series of metals so you can see in your books actually i am unable to arrange the camera okay now pc page 72 all of you here now here you can see this potassium this potassium it is placed at the top of the reactivity series because it's highly reactive sodium after potassium sodium then calcium magnesium aluminum zinc iron lead copper silver and gold gold is placed at the bottom of the reactivity series so gold is least reactive metal okay so it does not react with oxygen it doesn't react with water that is why gold ornaments they are generally unreactive okay so that is now displacement reaction what is a displacement reaction a displacement reaction a more more reactive metal displaces a less reactive metal from its sol solution so sol solution of a less reactive metal is there and that more reactive metal what it does it pushes away the less reactive metal from its sol solution okay like in your class also when a boy is very strong can easily displace the boy or the student who is not so strong okay so same way they it happens here also okay now uh, we will discuss one example the reaction of metal with copper sulfate solution okay the reaction of iron metal with copper sulfate solution see here <coughs> now iron metal iron i will write like this iron plus copper sulfate solution copper sulfate solution here it's a salt solution so this is copper sulfate this is salt solution and this is salt solution of a weak metal okay now you can even see here in the reactivity series also you can see here this iron is placed above copper and you know in this reactivity series the metals are placed in the order of decreasing reactivity so if iron is placed above copper means iron is more reactive than copper so what will happen here and this is a salt solution of a weak metal so what will happen this iron will displace or will push away the copper and it will combine with this sulfate and will form iron sulfate plus iron sulfate plus copper copper is displaced understood now the color of this copper sulfate is blue initially the color of the, of the copper sulfate is blue but this iron it displaces copper and iron sulfate is formed so the color changes to greenish and this copper it gets deposit this color of the copper is reddish brown and it gets deposited over the iron like you can also do this experiment suppose if this is a beaker or a vessel and suppose this is a copper sulfate solution okay and if we dip iron nail here what will happen this iron nail the iron of this nail what will happen it will displace copper and it will form iron sulfate and slowly slowly this uh, solution will become iron sulfate it will be changed to iron sulfate and the color will uh, sulfate and the color will change to greenish and copper will be displaced here but that copper it gets deposited at the tip of this iron nail which is which uh, dips in the solution okay not whole only this part and this part it turns reddish brown okay 
so that is what so uh, just remember always the stronger metal displaces the weaker metal now suppose if we if we take the sol if we take the salt solution of iron sulfate <coughs> iron sulfate plus copper now you know this copper is weaker than iron sulfate so this copper will not displace iron sulfate and here no reaction will take place okay now you see here uh, here this is copper sulfate and zinc this is the salt solution this is zinc is a metal now this zinc if you will see in the reactivity series this zinc is placed above copper you see this is zinc and this is copper so this is placed above copper means this is more reactive than copper so this zinc will displace copper and will form zinc sulfate solution and copper will be displaced so we will do till here only what are the uses of metals iron copper aluminium metals are used to make cooking utensils and water boilers uh, for factories copper metal is used for making electric wires for household wiring electric motors etc etc um, and electrical appliances also aluminium metal is used for making electric cables okay and overhead electric transmission wire lines aluminium foils are used for packaging medicine chocolates food items and many other materials Aluminium metals in the form of alloy is used for making to make aeroplanes. Iron metal in the form of a steel is used to make nails, screws, nut pipes, and so on. So all these things are written here. Okay. Zinc metal is you know it's used for galvanizing iron to protect it from rusting. Silver and gold metals are used to make jewelry. Mercury metal is used in the thermometer. Now you know there is a metal iron which is present in the hemoglobin. Uh, the color of the blood is red due to the presence of the hemoglobin and this hemoglobin contains iron. Okay. So iron is a very important constituent of hemoglobin. Okay. And um, you know this thing that hemoglobin it combines with oxygen or hemoglobin it carries oxygen. Okay. Uh, to the body part. So if hemoglobin is less definitely less amount of oxygen will be carried okay so there will be shortage of oxygen in the body leading to tiredness and weakness which is also called as anemia what are the uses of non metals so oxygen is a non metal which is used by plants and animals including human beings for breathing thus oxygen uh, non metals is essential for maintaining our lives very very important non metal oxygen non metals also used in the process of burning of fuels in homes factories and transport vehicles next nitrogen is a non-metal which is used in making fertilizers to enhance the growth of plant nitrogen gas it's an inert gas is also used in food packaging instead of air to keep the food fresh now you know that uh, nitrogen uh, you know that uh, when the any food material uh, is fried in oil or ghee okay and it comes in contact with air it it it, its taste and its smell changes okay now oxygen of the air it reacts with that oil and ghee now but that a uh, food material if it is con uh, stored in a airtight containers airtight containers means there will be no air so no oxygen then we can keep it fresh so what happens generally uh, in chips packets and all this nitrogen is inert gas so that is flushed to the chips packet and then these materials are stored. So in that way also the food materials can be kept fresh. Okay. Chlorine is a non-metal which is used in the water purification process. Chlorine has a ability to kill germs or chlorine makes the drinking water supply germ free. Iodine is a non-metal which is used to make purple color solution called tincture iodine which is applied on cuts and wounds as an antiseptic sulfur and phosphorus are non-metals which are used in fireworks sulfur is a non-metal which is used in the vulcanization of rubber that is hardening of rubber carbon is a non-metal which is used as a fuel okay so these were the uses of metals and non-metals and i uh, with this i finished the syllabus of term and examination students okay now i will once again i will uh, tell you the syllabus for term and examination uh, chapter 2 microorganisms friend and foe chapter 4 materials metals and non-metals <clears throat> then uh, here 
chapter 10 reaching the age of adolescence 11 force and fresh pressure chapter 12 friction and chapter 14 chemical effects of electric current so these are the these are the chapters which are included in your syllabus okay so i have um, also i have shared the syllabus also with you so please devise if you have any doubt please clarify your doubts during the live classes or during the clarification hour and now from next class we'll start revision okay students thank you have a nice day.